Hey guys, so I'm going to be talking about the second new Tom Ford eyeshadow quad that just came out, two out of three. I recently asked you on my community tab here on YouTube which quads you would like me to review first, Body Heat 1, which is what I reviewed yesterday, and today we're going to be talking about Suspicion, which came in second. So it's the one that is, I want to say, the warmest out of the new three eyeshadow quads. It has a very golden tone to it. So I'm going to give you some swatches, wet and dry, of this quad. We'll also be applying it to my lids, and then I'll have some comparison swatches to some similar kind of quads that I have in my collection from Tom Ford. So let's go ahead and get started. I will put some timestamps down below in my description box. I'll also have everything that I have on my face down below in my description box as well if you're interested. So again we have the very typical Tom Ford packaging. It has the kind of mahogany brown um, and gold coloring. Yesterday in my body heat video I forgot to mention that the little uh, brown suede pouch also faux suede? Faux suede. Brown faux suede pouch also comes with this eyeshadow quad. So here's a close look at the inside of the quad. We have four shades, and again, we have that wet dry formula that I love so much. So all three of the new quads include this wet dry formula. So first here are some dry finger swatches. I swatched uh, across the top and then across the bottom. And here are the same dry finger swatches, but with the wet brush swatches added. So the wet brush swatches on the left, and then we have the dry finger swatch. And again, it goes across the top and then across the bottom. So I won't bore you too much with how much I love this formula. I kind of went on and on in yesterday's body heat video. So why don't we just go ahead and jump into the application of this quad. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, but I'm gonna start by using it wet. And I've got my Isom W21 brush. It's like a flat shader brush and it's made out of sable hair, which is really great for like cream products. So I've got my MAC Fix Plus. I'm gonna spray it. And again, I'm going into this shade here and I'm gonna apply this all over my lid. I did have one of you comment that you got this quad and experienced a lot of fallout. So I definitely wanna use uh, some of these shadows dry for sure and just see what my experience is, but I have concealer and powder down. I don't have any eye primer or anything. So we'll get a true sense of how these shadows behave. So that is this shade applied wet to my lids. I love how it looks like gold foil. It's so pretty. I'm going to take a blending brush. I've got my Esam S33 brush. I'm going to go into the same shade dry and I'm going to try and blend out the edges here. I think if I wanted a really simple look, I would probably stop right here and just add some eyeliner and mascara. I think this is a really pretty one color shade. You know, I think it adds like just enough dimension, it almost looks like I've added dimension on the outer corners of my eyes already. But let me go ahead and try and use the rest of the shades for this video. I'm going to use my Builder 3. I'm going to go into this more orange color shade here and I'm going to add it right on top and I'm adding it basically to like the um, outer half of my lid here. I am definitely experiencing some fallout here. I don't know if the camera is going to catch it, but I definitely see some sparkles down there. I have not experienced much fallout with any of my Tom Ford quads, so definitely different for this one. I wonder if it's the gold flex in there. Whew, I feel like I came out much further on this side. Let me add a little bit to this corner of my eye. Really pretty. I like how those two colors play together. I thought maybe these were a little bit too close, but this is definitely much, much more orange um, on the lid. I kind of want to make this a little bit more of a smoky eye, so I'm actually going to take this deep brown color and use a fluffy brush and run it across my lash line. Sorry, I didn't tell you what brush I'm using. This is the Sonia G Smudger, <clears throat> Smudger One brush. Okay, there's the dark brown applied. I like the kind of like subtle smokiness it gives. It's not too, too deep like the dark one in the body heat that had a really kind of sooty, um, almost like a less glittery kind of effect to it. This one is definitely softer and I think it's nice if you want to use it, you know, like this, like just a light kind of like smoky effect. Okay, I'm gonna take this Wayne Goss number no. five uh, pencil brush and I'm gonna go into the lightest shade and just add this to the inner corners of my eyes. Pretty, that is a really, really pretty like rich gold color. I wonder if I can use it lightly as highlighter. I already have some highlighter on, but 
Let me see. Oh yeah, this shade is really nice as a highlighter if you have my skin tone. I think it adds like a really nice little bit of a frosty glimmer there. I already had some highlighter down, so this is not all that eyeshadow, but it definitely adds like a little bit of a extra glint. All right, let me put on the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back. Uh, we'll just kind of finish talking about this quad and then we'll get into the comparison swatches. Woo, well this turned into a more dramatic look than I anticipated, uh, but let's go ahead and talk about this palette a little bit. Like my kind viewer Beth mentioned, um, she did experience some fallout with this. I definitely experienced some fallout with this uh, and a lot more than any of the other Tom Ford quads that I've experienced. Aside from his, uh, in like previous eyeshadow quads, he has that like pressed glitter. Charlotte Tilbury has those also in her quads. Those I definitely get a little bit of fallout. But when it comes to this wet dry formula, I don't necessarily get a lot of fallout, maybe a little bit, but this I definitely felt like there was a little bit more when I used these two shades. So I would say if you're interested in this quad, maybe put down a little bit of a primer. You may want to try it out for yourself. It's going to behave differently on everyone, I'm sure. I think this color story is really beautiful. You'll see in my comparison swatches, I feel like this quad is if Golden Mink and Cognac Sable had a baby that this would be the quad. You guys let me know down below uh, what you think. But in terms of performance, I think it's really beautiful on the lids. Again, I love this formula, but these quads, and I didn't mention this in yesterday's body heat video, but these quads are definitely for people who like a shiny, frosty kind of look. There are no matte shades in here. You're just not gonna get a matte look. You're really gonna get something that's high shine. I don't mind. I know a lot of people don't like an all shiny look. You know, they have to throw some mattes in there and maybe just add some shine. I don't personally mind. The more shine, the better. So I really, really enjoy these quads. So let's go ahead and get into the comparison swatches. Um, I swatched it next to the ones that were even remotely similar to this one. So let's take a look at these swatches now. Well, tomorrow we're going to have double indemnity. I am trying to get all of these quad reviews and demos up for you before the Sephora VIB sale is over because all these quads are available on Sephora. So definitely look out for that. Definitely subscribe down below if you're into these quad reviews. After I'm done with the Tom Ford, I want to get into the Chanel quads uh, because I was able to get my hands on blurry green. So we'll be doing blurry green, gray, and mauve. So that will be coming up. I also just ordered the Charlotte Tilbury Dreamgasm quad. So it really is eyeshadow quad bonanza around here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video.